Okay, good, good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today, I'm not at Green Pastures Farm. We're in uh, England, uh, outside of London, at the Groundswell Conference. Today, my special guest is Nick. Uh, Nick Viney. Nick Viney. Nick uh, emailed me early on before I ever came over and asked me to stop by the booth and just say hi. And Nick, tell us a little bit about what you're about. What, what's this? Uh, so, um, I'm an artist, um, but also a farmer, and always try to blend those two things. Um, and so, coming here to Groundswell is a great place to be able to kind of do that. It's such a great atmosphere here. Isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, a, it's just a beautiful portrait. Why don't, if you would come over, I'm going to step back a bit. Can I go over what you're doing okay. here on this? Okay. Uh, so, if we sort of pan back a little bit, we've got the earth and then out here, space, the final frontier. So we've got the sun coming in and normally we'd be cooling here, but because of this buffer of CO2 and greenhouse gases, then we're overheating. So we're in the 11th hour and the clock is ticking and we've got to shift to a more regenerative practice. So that means bunching your animals up and keeping them moving. And that's really kind of old, it's really old shepherding, old farming techniques, but with new tech. So here would be electric fences. We're gonna build more trees into the system and get some ponds, concentrate on water infiltration and soil health. And people like to make this area really, really complicated, but for me, in my experience, it's complex, but not complicated. And if we concentrate on, a, on increasing our organic matter, which we use these guys to do, and these, these, the dung here is deliberately in gold. Greg says, that this is where your gold is. Yep, yep. Um, so a lot of treading, you a lot got your, of- You got your predators in yeah, here. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, so yeah, so we've got to feed these guys yep. and really keep them invigorated. So, and if we're talking arable, then complexity, diversity, trees, silver pasture, diversity, diversity, diversity. And if we kind of, uh, and my, our sort of mantra at home is complexity builds resilience and both are our friends. If we ignore all this, <laughs> and then we start going around this way, and we start to thin our soils. And with that, we start changing the weather. Because we can't hold the water. We can't hold the water, exactly. And this is the Egyptian hieroglyphics for water, symbol for water. And when water, I think this is like teeth, and when water, hits depleted soils, then you get massive erosion, soil loss, and you're just left with dust. Dust, fire. Yeah. yeah. You're in the 11th hour. We're in the 11th hour. And this is, uh, this is G for Groundswell, but it's also Greg did this one. Yeah. Did she, like, <laughs> she gave me a brush just yeah. you know. I got this beautiful painting, she wants me to do that. And I'm like, I was kind of nervous about it, you know, I've never done a painting, but she yeah. she trusted me to put the G on there. Yeah, so. it's a collaborative piece, so that was yeah. the whole point. Yeah. Uh, originally, yeah. I put a thing out on Twitter to say, um, what does Regen Ag mean to you? And uh, so I got lots of words back and uh, kind of blended that with my own experience. And it was really thrilled to get, to get Greg here. Um, and now we kind of made a bit of a trampoline on this ring feeder because it's a cattle feeder. And so that was about kind of not turning agriculture on its head, but just tilting it on its side and just tweaking it a little bit. Yes. Um, so yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot going on right here. I mean. Complexity, yes. that's what we're after. I love your four wheeler, you got the <laughs> Yeah. She's got the reels showing no, the This back. is my life. I am <laughs> always moving fences. I am always dragging these around. And I can't start our quad. So t talk a little bit about your operation. I mean. Okay, so we've, we've only got a very small place um, in Devon, which is the far southwest of the UK, very green. Um, and yeah, I just, I've always been interested in, in the environment. So, um, 
and, and agriculture and very often those two things did not mesh well and, and certainly did not uh, fit well in a, in a conventional um, agriculture setting right. where, I, where I grew up so there's a lot of a lot of peer pressure and a lot and the research that I've done um, on Dartmoor peer pressure is a big thing why, why farmers don't feel they can change right. um, so but Liz, as you, you're very educated and the more you you've got a farm you're moving animals as you've gone through your progress it's not the animals that destroy the environment it's the way we're managing it's not the cows that have. Yeah. 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 You know, so people say, oh, we got to eliminate all the animals. I'm like, if we do that, we're in trouble. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, these guys are the landscape engineers. Yes. You know, they yes. are. This is a, this whole, you know, complexity of nature is the, is exquisitely balanced yes. left to... Would you go as far to say that if we remove these, we're pretty much doomed? How are we going to, how are we going to get the, no, no. the soil carbon back? Exactly, exactly, exactly. We had people on the stand earlier and they you know, they're trying, they're here, so they're interested, um, but they don't know where to start. They're arable yep. and they've got no animals on the system. And I'm now, saying explain really, arable to the United States. Arable so t tillage yeah, yeah crops no yeah. no livestock on, on on the farm at all and so they're really going to struggle to get that organic matter back in so so really you want these guys and what i said to them is you know these, these guys have got thousands of acres yes um yes. why not let somebody else on the farm to, that to knows bring, how to run yeah, animals to, to bring some livestock yes. on and just you know just because the, the kids here the price of land here is is phenomenal you know yes. it's really hard for new entrants to get into farming yes. um so but we've got the, these really interested young kids that, that could really do with a break. So, and like and you were always saying, you don't have to buy the land. That's you know, right. you can rent manage it. Manage it. Yeah, that's right. manage it. And the, so, and the irritable farmers are going to get a one-two punch for because they're getting them manure yeah. or nothing. Yeah. They don't have to go out and manage the animals. Yeah. They're doing that. Precisely. And he uh, and so the guys come back for me there was, um, why can't I just buy in the manure? Well, and so I said, well... Yeah, mm. but you know what you're trying to do is you're trying to invigorate these guys. If you're buying in a whole load of manure that's full of ivermectin or something, yes. you know these guys are not going to be able to function. They're so, gone. They're so gone. yeah. And um, you need you really need the animals out on the Exactly. The urine, we were, the feet. Yeah, the, the whole trampling. You know, I love that with um, you know when you bunch the animals like that and and. You know, sometimes you see those dairy cows and that once a year thing where they go out and they're bucking and kicking, you know, oh, and you think, oh, well, this is great. <laughs> you get that every day when you're moving animals like yes. this, don't you? They are just, so just happy. loving it, so yes. healthy, so happy, no foot problems, you know, just, you know, we, I did 20 years in the vet, so you're kind of, um, you know, you, you kind know, of, you've been through you know? it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just kind of see things from lots of different angles and I think that helps. And when you see really healthy, happy animals, um, it just opens your mind, doesn't yep. it? I think so. Yeah. I've had people come uh, up to me in this conference. They live in London. They have n no dream of ever owning land or anything, but they watch that video of mine and say, "Great, you got the happiest, healthiest-looking cows yeah. I've ever seen." Yeah. Well, they should be. I mean, we're moving them, you know, and they're always in good green grass. And you oh, take the animals and move them; they just they do it. Well. Yeah, yeah. No, the transformation of some of that that cockleburr field of yours. I mean, that's just <laughs> fantastic, isn't it? Oh man! But for us to be able to look back on that, you know, on YouTube and and be able to see see how you've transformed that land, and what what is really good for us and what we do, because we're all about trying to connect people right. to the land in a more in a more emotional sense, yeah. which I know some people might have a problem with, but when you connect like this yes you yes. feel so good about yes. what you're doing yes. you you your life is in a sense is fulfilled it's like you never kind of it takes all the boxes it, doesn't it all of a sudden humans need animals yeah yeah and it, it heals us yeah my favorite time of the day is going out in the morning and moving my animals and seeing a smile on their faces, a rip in the grass, I'm almost like saying, thank you, Greg. Yes. And I feel good about that when I leave there. I know they're happy, they're healthy, and they're content. And you're not afraid to say, we are beautifying the land. Yes. Because that's, that's, and that's where art, I think, comes in, is, is, is beauty. There's no getting away from that. That's right. You feel it. That's and, right. And so, yeah, oh, I'm just really grateful for you to come along. Well, just... I'm grateful that you were able to take time with me today. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Nick. 
And uh, do you have a website or a contact? Um, we're Viney Rogers, www.vineyrogers with a d.co.uk. .co.uk. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, she gives me that description, folks. I'll put it on the description on the video if you want to talk or get in touch with Nick. And uh, thanks again. Thanks, Greg. And, uh, we'll it's been see, a real pleasure. Yeah, I hope to see you again at Grounds Rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Have a good one, folks. Oh, and on the way out, hit that subscribe button. Thank you.